So what I want to do is just kind of talk a little bit about what you guys will be learning the next uh, week and a half. Um, the basics, you know, like I think a lot of coaches, especially new coaches, try to make this more complicated than it really is, uh, which is why I like, I love to have like tunnel vision for myself and for my new coaches, um, which is the 21 day challenges. That's really what I want my coaches to focus on. And so when I do my 21 day challenges, I, <clears throat> I love to like really connect with my people and give them not only, obviously they're going to get incredible products, but I want them to have an amazing experience. So they know that this whole thing is a lot more than just challenge packs. It's about that challenge group experience too. Um, and such a good experience that they want to pay it forward and give that experience to others because it was just so good. Um, so that's what I want to focus on with my new coaches is trying to help them create those 21 day challenges of their own um, and then give their people such an amazing experience that their people want to create a 21 day challenge for others and share that experience with them. So obviously like it'd be nice if people were just like raising their hands to join your 21 day challenges. Um, I guess Laura does have people that raise their hands and just jump into her 21 day challenges. Like it's nothing, but sometimes that's not how it works. So we got to figure first figure out like where are we going to find these people um, and then how do we invite them without like feeling like we're selling? Uh, so the first part is how do we find people? Cause a lot of times I have people that say like, Pat, like I don't know anyone that would be interested in this, thing, right? Like I love the 21 day challenge, but I'm not a salesperson. I don't like selling. None of my family would want to do it. I don't have time to go out to the mall and the grocery store and try to like recruit people and find people. So I don't know if this is for me. And that was like a big issue for me the first few years. Like I just, I saw the same people every single day um, and I didn't have time to go out and try to find people. Um, so what I had to do was figure out ways that I could do it uh, without taking a ton of time. And one of those ways was Facebook fan pages, like going to P90X fan page and Sandy fan page, uh, connecting with people there. That's where I found a few of my people that I connected with, got them into my like little free group. And then they, a lot of them became coaches. And then we're not really supposed to do that anymore. We're really not supposed to go to Beachbody fan pages and message people on there because I think a lot of coaches were doing that and some of the, the people that were on those fan pages were complaining. So you can get, you can get like booted from those fan pages for doing that. Um, you still can like go on those fan pages and message people. Like if you go to those P90X fan page or Insanity or 21 Day Fix and you message someone and you say, hey, like we have mutual friends or we have, looks like we had a bunch of comment I wanted to connect and there's no way we'd get reported. Like, but if you said, Hey, I saw on the 21 day fix uh, fan page that you're a fan of 21 day fix. I want to connect. And they like were a coach and they reported you. Then you probably get like a little warning. And if you did it again, they probably just not let you have access to that fan page. So it's not like the end of the world, but um, when they kind of put a, a little bit of a kibosh on that, all of a sudden this new thing came out, which, which had been around. It wasn't new. It had been around for years. It was new to me it was called Instagram. You guys ever heard of it? <laughs> um, <laughs> so Instagram is where I find like a, probably 90% of the people that join my 21 day challenges. So with my new coaches, I show them how to find people on Instagram, how to connect with them. Um, and then eventually how to build that relationship and invite them to join a 21 day challenge. But it starts with how to find people first before you can invite them. Um, and Instagram is the best way for me. That's what works really well for me. Um, there's two ways on Instagram. The first is Instagress. That is the game changer because I don't, you can do auto comments. I only use the auto likes. So I'll see if I can, uh, share my screen just so you guys can see this. So this is Instagress, Instagress.com. You sign in with your Instagram name. And yeah, I just have my likes clicked. I don't have the comments clicked. And then I pay 30 bucks, uh, excuse me, 10 bucks every 30 days. And I just let this thing run 24 seven, 365. And it's constantly liking photos to all around the clock. Um, I just have here media source tags. <clears throat> and then I have like just a ton of tag, a bunch of different hashtags that it goes and search for. I have like just generic like health stuff, like train hard, athlete, weight loss, then I got some stuff that's kind of like related to what I used to do. Uh, accounting, CPA, APMG is a, an accounting company, uh, internet marker, entrepreneur. 
I got some local stuff like Delray Beach is a town I live in, Boca Raton, Palm Beach, Skinny Atlas is a town I'm from. Uh, I got some beach body hashtags, which does bring you a lot of other coaches that come to your page and like and follow you. You're going to get that. Like just, you're going to have to deal with other coaches that are going to be following you and liking you. Like that's a good thing. I like, I have new coaches that are complaining and they're like, Hey, this Instagram all, it's bringing me a ton of other coaches that are following me. And I'm like, that's fine. Like you can increase the number of followers you have, you know, you can, obviously you can't, they're not going to be part of your 21 day challenges, but you're going to increase that your following number. And when people come to your page, the more followers you have, the more likely they are to follow you because mm-hmm. they're going to think, Oh, well, if there's many people are following them, they're worth following. And obviously you have to have you know, good content, good posts on your Instagram. <clears throat> but, uh, so I think it's good to have a few beach body hashtags and then a couple local like Atlantic abs, uh, the street I live on Fort Lauderdale slash fitness is a local gym right down the street from me. And uh, juice buzz is like a little health store that's uh, in my town too. Um, so just a bunch of different hashtags that it goes and searches for. And I get like a ton of people that obviously they're like, who's this guy that's liking my photos. They come to my Instagram. They see that I have good content. They see my bio. Um, and hopefully they like a few photos, maybe even follow me. And then every, you know, Every day I'll go on and I'll see who liked some of my photos, who started following me, and I go to their page. And I, well, this is one of my favorite quotes, you have to be more interested than interesting. It doesn't matter how like, interesting you try to be and all these great posts. If you're not interested in them, it doesn't matter how interesting you are. So yes, you do want to have good content. So when they do come to your page, they follow you and they like your stuff. But then you got to go to their page like two, three, four of their photos and comment on one of their photos with a compliment, like whatever stands out to you, whatever catches your eye about their page. Maybe you go to the page and nothing catches your eye. Then that's probably not someone that's a good person for you to connect with. So you just kind of pass them up. But if it does catch your eye, comment after you like a few photos, give them a compliment. What stood out to you, what you liked about it, and then ask them a question about something that stood out to you. That's how you start to become more interested in them and start to build that connection um, and then based on how the answer, maybe ask another question about what, what kind of photos they have. And then what I like to say is like, Hey, like that sounds awesome. It sounds like we have a lot in common. I'd love to connect with you on Facebook. Are you over there? Or I'll say, um, that sounds great. We have a lot in common. I have a few like fitness groups on Facebook that I'm in. Are you on Facebook? Um, but first, you know, I give them some compliments and try to become more interested in them and get to know them a little bit more about what they're doing. Um, before I try to connect with them. Because like, you do want to make sure it's someone you want to connect with. You don't want to just connect with everyone. Um, because this business isn't where, a thing where you got to like sell a million things and sign a million coaches to be successful. You just need a couple of good coaches, two or three really good coaches that you would want to go on vacation with and hang out with. Like those are the type of people you're looking for. You don't have to be desperate for this. You know, like I have, there's a lot of new coaches that come in and they're just like, they like ooze desperateness. Like you can like smell it on them and it's not like attractive, you know? Um, you don't have to be desperate. You want to work with people that you're going to get along with and connect with. So be choosy, you know, like go to their page. If it catches your eye, start a conversation and then move it over to Facebook. If that's someone you really do want to connect with. Right. Do you guys have any questions about like that part of it? Like, uh, Instagram. I also do manually. Like I, every day I'll go and search hashtags on my own. And I'll find like 20 people that I'll go to their page, like two or three photos and comment and start a conversation with them uh, on top of the people that I start conversations with that, that came from Instagram. So those two ways, manually searching hashtags and then also connecting with the people that came to me because of Instagram. That's where I find all my people that I connect with. So any questions about like Instagram or Instagram or how to connect with people or how to move the conversation? Facebook, like Instagram is the, the cocktail hour. Facebook is the party. Mm-hmm. So any questions about that? Mm. And it's just, just us and Canada, right? Cause I'm getting a lot of people that would be interested, but it's, you know, yeah. And you're okay. going to get a lot of foreign people too. And again, like that, you know, oh. that's your follower number and Side of the- yeah. And Beachbody is like working on moving to, like, I think the ones they're going to go to first are UK, Australia, and Mexico. Um, that's just rumors. But they are, like, really working on that. So, 
Um, I have, you know, people that I eventually, but mostly the UK and Australia that I have some people that I think, you know, are going to make great coaches, um, once they open them up, but yeah, you're going to, you're going to get a lot of foreigners. And like, you know, when I get a follower or someone that likes my photo and I go to their profile, like I, I can tell, you know, right away if they're foreign. I know. I'm like searching, like, is this a different language? Or? Yeah. Right. So. Um, oh, one more thing that's important in your Instagram, it's a, in your Instagram uh, bio, there's a section called my website. Like if you go to Instagram on your phone and uh, you go to your profile, there's an edit profile button and there's a section in there that says my website. You want to put in the website, uh, the link to your Facebook profile. So if you go on your computer and you go to your Facebook, you'll see the hyperlink. It'll say facebook.com forward slash your name and probably a number at the end of your name. Um, so you want to make sure that's what is in your website section on your Instagram profile and just don't include the www dot. Just have it say facebook.com. If you have the www dot and they click on it, it goes to their Facebook app and it goes straight to their news feed, not your profile. But if you take, get rid of that www dot, it opens up Safari and goes straight to your profile. Um, but honestly, like a lot of times now, um, I just ask if they're on Facebook and, uh, and if they say yes, then I just go and find them and friend them myself instead of waiting for them to try to go friend me. Um, Pat, in terms of Facebook, when people are trying to find you um, and they click on that link, have you changed, do you have to change any of your privacy settings? Like, are you pretty open book on Facebook? Because mine's set to like, just friends, just friends, just friends, just friends. Yeah. Um, so what sorts of things do you need to open up if they click on that? Or does that let them bypass? So yeah, if they have to, uh, so like what I do is everything's public for me. Okay. Um, but I have, you know, there are like mothers obviously that are coaches that they, for the most part, they have everything public and then like anything that they just want their friends, like, um, certain people to see, they, um, they have, you can like create settings so that certain posts can only be seen by certain people. Right. And you can like create a group. You know, like if you want these people to see like photos from like this part of your life, you can like create like that group of those people. And then, then every time you post a photo of that part of your life, you can just say seen by like that group and you don't have to pick every single person, but you do like, you know, you want these people to see that you're more than just a beach body coach. You know, you want them to see that you have, you know, a life <laughs> so that they can connect with you. Uh, that's important. So I would just go public, like go big. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can always block people. Like if you're if, like, like you're going to run into people that are weird. It's just part of it. You're going to run into a couple weirdos here and there and uh, you just block them, you know? With some of the military stuff though, especially in Thomas branch, it's like the threat is bigger. They like, you know, like they put out a list of people that they found on Facebook and their families and like they were like targeting them. And that was like specifically with Tom's area. So I know that I cannot go very public with very much stuff. So like, I feel like, so my biggest thing is like, I feel like I could really target, I guess target's a bad word, a lot of military spouses. I feel like they would teach body stuff, but I can't reach out to them in that way because it also makes Mom and I a target in a different way. You know what I mean? By you reaching out to other military wives, like I know military wives in this in Beachbody that are like ridiculously successful, uh, and they don't even live in the U.S. Like you have to be a U.S. citizen living on U.S. soil. But the one exception is if you live on a U.S. base overseas, you can still be a coach. Um, and there's like coaches in Japan. There's like a top coach in Japan. Um, there's a ton of military coaches, wives, military wives that do really well. So military, for those that don't know, like if you're, if you're active military or your spouse is active military, you can be a coach for free. You don't have to pay the $16 a month that all the other coaches pay. So you can sign up as a coach. You don't pay the 16 and you get the 25% discount. So, you know, being a military co uh, coach, is even better than just being a coach, which is kind of nice. You save that extra 16. And I think that's where a lot of these military wives, they, they have a lot of, uh, 
a lot of military wives, friends that live like on bases overseas that aren't allowed to have jobs in that country. And they're just bored out of their mind. And so they connect with them through uh, Facebook pages. You know, they're like, for all you guys, there's so many Facebook groups that are like, you go and search like groups. I think you can like, if you go on Facebook um, and you search like an area, you can click on group. You click on like the very bottom. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Like I was actually doing this today, like, <clears throat> cause I think I'm going to be um, going to check out like the North uh, Pacific Northwest. And I was like, so you cl type in Portland and you can click on this here down at the bottom, click on Portland. Instead of clicking on Portland, Oregon, you click on here, the search. And then you can search by um, people, photos, pages, places, and then this more drop down lets you search for groups. So like if you live in Portland and you want to search for groups in Portland, you, you just type in Portland, click on that little magnifying glass and then go to groups. And it'll list like Portland mamas. Like there you go. Like you can connect with, if you're a Portland mama and you want to connect with other Portland mamas, like hop in that group. There's 10,000 people in that group. Um, that's a great way to connect with people uh, in addition to Instagram. Um, I did that the other, like when I moved to Delray Beach, I went in, I typed in Delray Beach. Hit the, uh, let's see if I can do it again. Delray Beach. So I clicked on this little Delray Beach down here. Went to more, went to groups. And I joined the Delray Beach Volleyball Association. Like now I'm in that group. And like once in a while I get notifications to go play volleyball, uh, which is kind of cool. So there's a lot of, uh, oh, there's one of my friends that I met through volleyball right there. Um, and will probably be a really good beach party coach one day. Uh, but yeah, so sorry, that's off topic, but that's like one thing. That's a one way to find people as far as like, I guess I'm not really, I've never heard that before actually about like making you being a target if you're reaching out to other military wives. Um, so I guess there's probably like strict rules you guys have as far as like what you're supposed to post. But what, what I can do is I can like put you on a group message with you, me and, um, Ashley, excuse me, her name's Lindsay Katarina. Um, she is one of the top coaches that I'm pretty good friends with. And, and maybe we could just ask her if she's run into that issue. That would be great. Cause I feel like it would be like a great group of women who would be into beat bodies. So like, I just, like, I can, stop. I will know now not to put any, but like Facebook stuff on it. Cool. You're kind of breaking up. But let's talk. Actually, let's talk about that after you. We'll connect on that, and then you, me, and, and you come up with the game plan. Hey, Brian, where the hell you been? Oh God, I waited two hours for food. Brian, come on. Five, five minutes away, and I sent this like ridiculous text to Steve. And then you show up to the call 51 minutes late. Hey, I'm here, aren't I? You tiptoed into this meeting. Oh, that's not it. I ran in the door and I said, is it still going? All right. Um, so we just talked about, we recorded it. It's recording. But we just talked about, like, how to find people. You know, like, obviously, uh, we want to we create these awesome 21-day experiences for others. Um, but if you don't know how to find people, you're not going to have anyone to invite. So we started with the finding portion. And then I was going to talk about the inviting portion real quick. And then if we have time, we can talk about the creating the experience. Because I know there's some people on this Zoom that uh, have some really cool ideas on how to create an, a really cool experience in those 21-day challenges. So, Brian, you're going to have to listen to the recording on how to find people. I think we, you and I already went over that, so it'll be like a refresher. Okay. And, but uh, you want to like tell us real quick, like one thing. We don't have we don't have time for you. You don't we don't you don't get to do this. Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you like go real quick? Thirty seconds. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm from New York. I'm Pat's cousin, Jesse's brother, Carrie, who's working right now, his other brother or same brother. Um, <laughs> I live in Charlotte now. I moved down here about two years ago. Pat's been trying to get me to do beach body for like six years. I'm kicking myself now that I didn't do it sooner. But after going to uh, the event in Cancun and hearing the CEO speak, it kind of just clicked that it really is never too late. So 
Tony Horton also made a crack at me for being on the elliptical, so he really uh, lit a fire under my ass, so I'm after him. Did you guys hear that story? That's an interesting fact about Brian. <laughs> yeah. Alex, <laughs> Brian, will you tell the story? <laughs> you can tell it. Yeah, you can. So it was like the first like day of Cancun. So Brian, myself, and uh, my other cousin Chris, the three of us were like going. We just wanted to go to the gym real quick uh, before we went to the pool. You know, we wanted to get a little pump on. It, you know, look good at the pool. Yeah, simple, simple workout. Simple like a little twenty minute like push ups, maybe some pull ups kind of thing. Um, just so we felt good because we because we slept in and we didn't we skipped the uh, the workout that morning with the trainers, so we felt bad. So we were going to do that. We went in there like around like noon or one and Tony Horton was in there. He was, it was him and like two of his buddies and the whole gym was empty except for the three of us. And, and then those three, and we were using the pull-up bar and, and there was only one in the whole gym. So Tony came over and he's like, you guys using this pull-up bar? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, am I if we work in? And we're like, sure. So, so then he had this other like little setup he had with push-ups on top of medicine balls. So his, crew was like doing that then going over doing the pull-ups and going back and forth and so we kind of like jumped in with them and we're doing the push-ups on the balls and then the pull-ups and uh brian was like hey what happened to this little 20 minute quick workout i'm ready for the pool like you know i got like a, a frozen drink with my name on it out there <laughs> so brian's like i'm just gonna do the elliptical for like a couple minutes and then i'm out of here so he goes over and does the elliptical and like chris and i did the workout with tony for like an hour and then the, that later that night we went to this like event at night and we walk in and Tony's like greeting people and uh, the three of us walk in and he looks at Brian and he goes, Hey, what was up with you today? Hitting the elliptical? <laughs> and Brian's like, yeah, you know, I just didn't really feel like it. And he goes, ellipticals are for losers. <laughs> and Brian like, Brian just started fuming. Like, like say anything to anybody for like the next hour and we're like i'm like brian you want to drink like open bar over here and he's like no i'm good now i'm good <laughs> and he had like his fists were like clenched and he's like walking around he's like hey he's like you know what he's like if i went over to tony gave him one punch knocked him out <laughs> i think it'd get broken up real quick and then i could tell everyone that i knocked out tony horton and i was like i don't know if that's a good idea so brian's like yeah yeah you're probably right yeah yeah and then, like, five minutes later, I turn back around, and, like, and we're like, where's Brian? And we, like, look over, and he's walking over to Tony Horton, who's sitting with his girlfriend, having his nice little dinner. And, uh, and Tony, like, can see him coming. He's like, hey, buddy, I was just kidding, man. Like, just wanted to let you know, like, hey, if, you're not, if you want to do the elliptical, you might as well do the stationary bike. You know, he's, like, trying to backpedal and, like, be cool about it. Um, but it was pretty funny. We, looked, we thought, like, Brian was going to punch him when we saw him, like, walking towards him. Tony Horton, come on. I addressed it in a very uh, mature way, and I just spoke to him like a human. <laughs> you and, did uh, run that idea by me, though, the, uh, the knockout punch. You ran it by me real quick. I did, because, you know, dazed and confused. Oh, this stuff happens all the time. People break it up real fast. Then the guy gets his ass kicked, so. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Idea. We get <laughs> oh, man. So that was, that was an interesting fact. Um. But yeah, so we talked about like finding people. What, what about the rest of you guys? Like any ideas of like how to find people um, besides Instagram, Instagram, the Facebook groups is a really good idea. Um, going to like your friends and you can, here's another little idea. I'll share my screen. So if I go to um, my profile, click on friends, so I clicked on friends right here on my profile and you can just type in like, just type the letter A and it'll have all the people that, that have a first or last name that start with the letter A. So you could like go through like one day you're like, all right, I got, I'm going to invite, I'm going to connect with like 20 of my friends I haven't connected with in a while that have a name that starts with the letter A. So you can do that. And then you can go to like, if you have a lot of friends, you can do like AB and then like maybe connect with them. So that's another way. Um, Another thing you can do is like go to the, go to a friend's um, page and then go to their friends and you could like message some of their friends. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's one thing. Um, I haven't, I haven't done that, but I've heard of coaches that have. Um, but uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Those are a few ideas. Facebook group, 
your friends that you already have on Facebook, Instagram and Instagram. Um, other coaches love Pinterest. Other coaches love the blog. Um, I think that you should just pick like one or two and like master those before you start like jumping into the others. So for me, it's Facebook and Instagram and I don't really, I do YouTube, but like that's more for like training. Um, but Instagram is like, like I said, is the cocktail party. That's where I find everybody and connect with everybody because that searching the hashtags, whether it's Instagram or manually is such an easy way to connect with really cool people. Um, and then Facebook's where the party's at, like with the 21 day challenges and, and, uh, the in it's really easy to have like private message with the inbox. Um, so that's where like I run my whole business on Facebook, but I find the people through Instagram. So anybody have any other ideas like of what they're thinking as far as like connecting with people other than those? I just do when I'm out in public, like I'll take the kids to the park or the beach or wherever. And you know, they'll end up playing with somebody else's kids. And so I'll go over and introduce myself and it eventually ends up in what do you do conversation. And I always tell them my, like my day job first and then I'll throw in the beach body thing. And you know, you never know. Yeah. I always yeah. say like, Sorry, what were you going to say, Steve? I do things like, I mean, like, I, make, I bring my Shakeology to, to work a lot. And I have it once I get to work for like a, my late morning snack. And I leave it right there on the desk. Boom, there's, there's the bag. And after it's there for a while, a couple people start to ask about it. Uh, so that I'm not the one who initiated it. They're the ones who initiated it. Those are much, always much stronger leads, you know, and they're always much easier to close. So they're the ones that are after you for it. So, oh, just always trying to be an example of that and trying to slip it in whenever you can yeah. to make it like very visible that, yeah. Ask me. Ask me. Ask me. Yeah. Just straight it's ask all, me. And they do, and then bam. My dad is like the, uh, <laughs> he's like the poster child for wear and share. Yeah. So like, I don't think the guy owns any clothes that don't have some like Beachbody branding on them. No, he just wore posted like, one today that had a huge Shakeology on it. Right? Yeah, and it, it's not like anything like subtle. It's like neon yellow. Like <laughs> he wears the same shirt like every day, you know. And he's got like a Pete Power ninety hat, and uh, he's just. He's but if like, you're if you're working the system, and like especially if you do a twenty one day fix, and people around you have noticed a change in you, like you are physically more fit, or your attitude starts to change, and all this kind of stuff. People will start to ask you about it. what's going on. What are you doing? I mean, it, it happens. Yeah, and that's why I like creating those those um, the twenty one day fix, the twenty one day challenges. Like creating a really cool experience in there, like really getting them to connect with each other, and then you connecting with them individually. It really gets them to like stay focused on the program and the meal plan a lot more than they would on their own. So they get even better results. So more people are asking them about it. Um, and then you, like between those things, between people asking them what they're doing and the fact that they loved every part of that whole experience, they're going to probably be start to ask you like, Hey, I think I'm thinking about this coaching thing. If you hadn't already asked them because people are already asking what the hell they're doing. And they might even start like, like I have people all the time that are in my 21 day challenges that are like, Hey, like my friend wants to do this. Like they were asking me about it. I said, I said to reach out to you. So that's like, I get like referrals and I'm like, Hey, I don't want your referrals. Like, I want you to have your referrals and I want you to get a discount on Shakeology at the same time. Uh, so one of the things I do is like, I think I did this with Ashley because she was initially just a discount coach. Um, she signed up as a coach. Like that is like the hardest hurdle for a lot of people is like the signing up. It's like so scary. They feel like they're going to like get locked into like some prison if they like sign up. But if they do it just for the discount, then they're already a coach. They don't have to go through that like scary sign up. They're already in. Um, and then you can start to talk to them about, Hey, like you are, you got your discount now. Um, and if you want more of a discount, like if you refer your friends and they get Shakeology, your Shakeology is going to be even cheaper. Like if you refer three, yours is free. Refer three, get yours free is a really cool thing because you get, they get a 25% um, commission and with a 25% discount with three friends with their 25% commission, that's a hundred percent. I'm a CPA. I know that stuff. So that's a really cool way to get people in is, hey, get your discount. Let's refer three friends. Get yours free. And then they're like, hey, that's, this is kind of cool. Like, I'm enjoying this. What's the next step? Uh, I hate to, but Pat had to, like, Pat had to get, because I was, I was, like, buying Shakeology, 
and I was buying the programs like all day, every, every time. One a like, week. One. And Pat, every time I bought a new one, Pat was like, you should really sign up to be a coach. I was like, not interested, not interested, not interested. And finally, after I got, Pat was like, three, you should really sign up. Because I'm like, what about 21 Day Fix? What about 21 Day Fix Extreme? And he's like, Ashley, you just have to sign up to be a coach. You're like wasting so much of your own money. And now finally, now finally that I signed up, it's like so much easier. But they tell you like, you know, you read the books and it, I think that in Go For No or something, it says that most people say no four times before they say yes. And I am like, so that statistic. And for no reason, I was just like, I was saying no reason just because of like, it's a mental block that I have, like Pat said, like that it was going to be so much more difficult or that I was going to be tied into something. But gosh, some people, you just really have to get through to them. Yeah, the, what I've read about the the no's before, yes, and it, it is just a natural, it's like an instinctual thing. It's, it's avoiding having to make a decision. So they're not necessarily saying no to you, those first few no's. They're saying no to even having to make a decision, yes or no. And so that's like the automatic reflex. Yeah. So that's why you do, you got to get those few no's out of them so that at least they make sure they're what they're saying no to. Uh saying no to Pat was it I was like he was making the offer and I didn't look at any of the information he gave me I didn't read like the full messages I was just like no <laughs> she was saying no to like saving money and I was and I was like all right well I'll just take I'll just keep taking your commission I don't really want it but whatever. but that's like what Steve was saying like they're saying no to, to making a decision um and you're going to hear that a lot. Like no doesn't mean no, no means not yet. Mm. No just means they don't really, they don't really have enough information yet to make a, a right decision. For me, it's like, why wouldn't you? Like if you're drinking Shakeology, like, why would you not want a discount? Why wouldn't you want to save $200 a month? I think you, I think you no brainer, like probably 25 times before I said yes. <laughs> Hashtag no brainer. <laughs> um okay so i was trying to just keep this to an hour but it just doesn't work that way no. sorry i showed up late you know delayed the whole thing yeah and you, it's mostly your fault mostly <laughs> <you>. <laughs> um so raise your hand if you have like gone over the 21 day uh invite steps i hate the word script like the invite steps You've like, you've seen it, you've gone through it, you know what it is, you're pretty comfortable with it. My hand is down. Yeah. Who's, whose hand is down? Yes. Jesse has not. Mm -mm. Who's your coach? Jan o. Logan. <laughs> her mother. My mom. Your mom? My mom's my coach, yeah. I'm signed up under her. She hasn't gone over the script either, so. Yeah, so that's why I'm my hands yeah, down. Good job, Brian. My job. <laughs> Are you the one that's going to be showing your sisters how to do this? I've been showing Carrie. Because Carrie's even, down a little busy. She's trying to finish school right now. Yeah. She's got like one week left of finals. We'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Um, I'll just go over it really quick because you, for most of you guys, have already seen it. I'll just. You don't. You don't have to for me, Pat. It's totally fine. I can get it so <clears throat> okay it's already there okay. all right this is my like go-to for like how i i'd switch it up all the time based on like the person i'm talking to like i try to make it personal i do a lot of like voice uh facebook voice messaging now which i like enjoy better than like uh, writing um i just started doing it because i just got this phone like this, i didn't i guess you could do that on facebook even before i got this phone but i just learned about it so now i'm doing it but uh, this is like kind of my, how I would invite someone to take a look at my, basically I want them to ask me what my 21 day challenge is. So this is kind of how I peak their interest a little bit. I just say, you're not interested in joining me for one of my 21 day challenges, are you? Something like that. Or like some people would rather say, I don't know if this is for you or not, since you probably have your own fitness and nutrition plan, but a group of us are starting another 21 day challenge here on Facebook. Not sure if you've seen any of my posts about them. I can give you more info if you want. 
Um, so that's another way. And a lot of times what people, I, I hear coaches say, I don't feel comfortable like jumping into this because I don't feel like I have a relationship yet. I feel like I'm going to lose them. And what they need to understand is that this invite process is how you build the relationship with them. Like this, the third step is really going to help you build the relationship with them. You're going to get to know them a lot more. You're going to be able to build trust. Uh, you're going to help them pick the best option for them, uh, which is really good. So you don't have to have an amazing relationship before you jump into this. Uh, so like step two is uh, once they say, Hey, what is that 21 day challenge? And you say, well, there's a few challenge options. Can I ask you a few questions about your goals and obstacles to help you figure out the best option for you? And then step three is my favorite step. That's where you ask them a bunch of questions to help them figure out what's, if this is a good fit for them. So like, do you already have a fitness nutrition plan? If yes, how's it going so far? Um, I send these all five questions all at once. How would you describe, let me just make this bigger. How would you describe your relationship with food? Do you ever, do you ever deal with any kind of emotional eating or binge eating? Uh, number three, what would be your ultimate goal you'd like to achieve in three weeks? Like be specific as possible, i.e. lose 10 pounds, gain confidence, go from a size eight to a size six. I think that, that was Steve's answer to this question. Um, the last two questions are my favorites. So, what's that? But men's sizes don't even work like that. I know. That's why I, was, that's why I got, you got to make sure you change that when you're talking to the guy. Uh, so, uh, so then the fourth, the second, the last two questions are my favorites. So number four, in the last five years, how many times have you started a program or diet and fell off? And they always say like every Monday or every time, too many times a count, right? So right now they're thinking this challenge thing that he's trying to get me to get is one more thing that if I end up having to pay for it, it's going to be one more thing I fall off and get no results with and waste my money again, right? So then the fifth question is starting to show them that this is different than everything else they've done before. It's not just a program and Shakeology, it's an experience. So it starts with this, this last question. Do you think you'd benefit from being part of a Facebook group of like-minded positive people that start the same day as you and are sharing and helping each other all 21 days and, and have me texting you daily? Um, so now they're starting to realize, okay, this is, this is a little bit more than what I thought. Um, and then based on their answers to your questions, you might wanna ask them some follow-up questions. Uh, hey, Laura, have you done that? Have you like gone through these questions with your people that have gotten challenge packs? Um, I alternate it a little bit. I adjust some of the words to make it a little bit more personal. But you ask them like a bunch of questions before you like tell them what the 21 day challenge is kind of. Kind of. It depends, depends on like the person. Yeah. Um, Cause I'm like just focusing on the, that 21. I don't even really know anything more about the other programs to offer well like okay so there's two options there's the 21 day fix and there's a 21 day fix extreme obviously like if someone I have people that do other programs that come into these challenges like last month in April there was five of you in there Laura Melinda you were two of them and then one of them was doing t25 like which she didn't do the 21 day fix she did t25 but she only did it for 21 days and uh, that worked fine. It was cool that she was a part of a group of other people doing something like, a, you know, working out, drinking Shakeology every day, even though her program is a little different. You know what I mean? I think you, like, even if you're only going to do 21 day fix, you still like, I love asking these questions because I, it helps me get to know them, helps me gain trust a little bit and helps me create like a higher perceived value, uh, which is good. Unless it's like a friend, you know, unless it's like your warm market, then you already kind of have that. But Laura, do whatever you want. You're, you're a rock star. You got this. I'm gonna, I'll learn. I'm going to learn for you. I want to know like what you're going to do in your 21 day challenges to create like a really cool experience. I know you got some good ideas, but we'll talk about you're that. You're me up so much. <laughs> oh, hey, you hyped yourself up. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's a good thing. Um, okay. So once they respond to those questions, then – I ask some follow-up questions maybe like if they want to, if they say they want to lose weight, I say like, you know, how much and like, what would it feel like, like to get back to that weight? 
um, what would your ideal weight be and what would it feel like to get there? Um, so just kind of have a conversation. And this even says like, have a conversation about their answers, ask follow-up questions, ask them to tell you a little bit more about that. There's no race. Take your time, quality over quantity. Um, and then step four is where you tell them a little bit about what the 21 day challenge is. Um, like, okay. So what, some new coaches are like, why do we only do the 21 day challenge? Like, why is that? <clears throat> There's a couple reasons. Number one, it's 21 days. It's three weeks. It's not very intimidating. You know, it's not like a 90 day program. So that's helps people commit to it a lot easier than if it was a two month or a three month program. Right. The other reason is results are 80 to 90% the food you put in your mouth. I don't care how hard you're working your ass off at the gym or at home. If you're not eating the foods that you need to, you're not going to get the good results that you want. And 21 day fix is the best beach body program when it comes to nutrition because the meal plan is simple and the containers are genius. So not only does it tell you what foods to eat, the right ratios of the food groups, but it tells you the exact amount of each food group because you, you don't even have to guess or weigh anything. If it fits in the container, you can eat it. If it doesn't, you gotta, you got to save it for the next meal, right? <clears throat> Plus, they get a month of Shakeology that knocks out one meal for them. So it's the nutrition component that really is the reason that people focus on this on top of the fact that it's only three weeks. Um, that's a huge yeah. plus too. And the workouts are only 30 minutes, and there's a lot of variety to those workouts too. It's not just cardio every day. Um, so that's basically what this little step four is explaining is explaining that what I just said. Um, step five, tell us a little, a little bit more about Shakeology. You know, like uh, it's all whole foods, nothing fake or artificial of any kind. It's delicious, curbs my cravings, helps me with my energy levels, helps me sleep better, helps me focus, helps me lose weight. And those are just the benefits off the top of my head. So you would fill that in with like the benefits that you have already noticed um, from your 21 day challenge from using Shakeology. And then, then after like all that, after I've like really got to know them and asked them the questions and built that relationship and created this much more of an experience than just a purchase, then I tell them like what they're going to get. Um, so the 21 day fix challenge pack comes with all this and it has like the price it would be if you bought it all separate. So like you get Shakeology, which is 130 if you bought it separate. <clears throat> this is what got Brian, the three day quick start bikini ready guy, the 21 day nutrition plan. The, the daily workout calendar, seven workout DVDs, which would be 20, uh, 60 bucks. You get two additional DVDs if you buy from a coach. That's one thing. Like if someone's trying to buy from Amazon, they can't, you can't get a challenge pack from Amazon. Sometimes you can get just the program. And if they're like, hey, I just want to get it from Amazon or eBay, like it's not the end of the world. You still would put them in your 21-day challenge because big picture, you want them to, to have a great experience and maybe join you as a coach. If you don't get $30 commission from them ordering the program, it's not the end of the world. Um, but you can tell them if you order from me, you get two additional workouts from a coach. And if you want to send it back, there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you order from a coach. And if one of the CDs gets scratched or something, it doesn't work. You can email them and they'll send you another one for free if you order from a coach. So those are the advantages. Uh, the color coded portion control containers, 20 bucks, the t-shirt. Every time someone finishes a program, if they like, if they go, and uh, I can see if I can show you guys. If you go to this Beachbody Challenge, um, this is teambeachbody.com. So you go to Beachbody Challenge Challenge Contest. This is where you can <clears throat> enter your results. So this is if you were committing to a challenge pack, but if you already did one, you just click enter my results and they'll send you a free t-shirt for whatever program you did. You just gotta send in your measurements and your uh, before and after photos. Um, okay so then also you get a free facebook accountability group with prizes for results this group is a game changer people who participate definitely see the best results accountability and motivation me as your personal mentor hashtag priceless it costs 160 for all this there's a 30-day money-back guarantee give me two weeks give me two weeks if you don't like it for whatever reason, you can send the empty bag of Shakeology back with the program and I'll make sure you get a full refund. I'll even pay for you to ship it back. Also, shoot me a text once you order or if you have any questions and I include my cell phone. We will be texting a lot during the challenge. I'll keep you on track and make sure you, and then I insert like the big reason they're doing this. Like not just 30 pounds, like what they said, how it would make them feel, like what they'd be able to accomplish. 
that big goal, that big why. Um, how would it feel to accomplish that during these three weeks? And most importantly, I'm going to help you have a healthier relationship with food that will last well beyond three weeks. This is more of a lifestyle thing than a, than a 21 day thing. Sound good. Um, so that's like the kind of the thing I go through. I'm like, just dude, give me two weeks for this thing. If it doesn't work, you're going to get all your money back. I'll even pay for you to ship it back. All right. Um, puts them at ease a little bit. I think I did that with, uh, Melinda, I believe. Is Melinda still on you? Yeah. Right. That's how I, that's how, that's how I hooked her. <laughs> uh, but that helps that, uh, I mean, once people get in, like if someone's like really cool and I want to connect with them and I think they'd be like really beneficial to the other people in my 21 day challenge, like I want to put them at ease. I want them in there. Like I want them to feel it's risk free because it is like get in there. If it doesn't work for whatever reason, you get all your money back. You got nothing to lose. Just you're going to have fun. Um, any questions about that little like five step thing? Where does this live? Where does this live? <laughs> okay. So in the, uh, in the Team Boom Coaches group. Team Boom Coaches? Okay. Yeah. So, so like, how this works is we used to have one coach group for all of Team Boom Coaches, right? And uh, it just started getting too big. So, like, my sisters broke off and started their own coach groups. My parents started their own coach groups. Some of the other, like, leaders on Team Boom have their own coach groups. So, this is my coach group, Team Boom Coaches. I think you guys are all in here. Um, so in this group, Team Boom Coaches, you go to the Files tab, and then you go to Challenge Pack Scripts. Okay. And then, and then these are the only, two cha the only two scripts that I really follow. This one is the one we just looked at. Mm -hmm. And then this one is what you do with them once they purchase their Challenge Pack. Okay. So that's where the script is. Um, okay. And then there's other cool things like in this team boom coaches group in the files tab, there's the May links. So <clears throat> this is a good thing for you guys to know. Like every month we have a file, excuse me, that has the links for the challenge groups. So we have big challenge groups that I'll post in the team boom coaches group and I'll say, um, Hey, who wants to lead the May 4th, 21 day fix group? Who wants to lead the May 18th, 21 day challenge, right? So they're there for you. Like if you don't want to run your own group, you can put people into these groups. You know, it's kind of nice, but your people aren't going to get as good of an experience. Like I was telling Melinda, I was telling Laura this, that before really before April, like what I used to do was I'd get people to buy challenge packs and then I'd throw them into one of these big groups and I would check in with them like once a week. Right. And then in April I was like, you know what? Like, I got these five people that are going to do this and I put them all five into this big group and there was like 60 people in there. Let's just see how many are in this one. Whoops. Wrong link. There are almost what I'm in now. Oh, what's that? There are 97 in the one I'm in now. 97. Like that's just way too many. That link doesn't work. Um, so in April I was like, Hey, like, I'm sure, pretty sure that Laura and Melinda are not going to like being in a group with like 97 people. And I think it'd be more fun if we had like a little more, a smaller group so we could really connect with each other more. So we did a group of just the five of us. Um, and it was awesome. It was just, it was by far the best like challenge group I've been a part of because the six of us in there, like really connected with each other, kept each other on track all 21 days. Um, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> it was a really good experience, like not just for them, but for me too. And uh, I think it was such a good experience that, you know, Melinda and Laura are now um, get to like pay it forward and create that experience for others, which was, is cool. That ripple effect. So, but these are, these are there for you if you want them. Um, and then also like we do every first Monday of the month, we do trainings, two week trainings. Obviously you guys are in coach basics. There's also a, a path to, I, uh, to Emerald group that starts every first Monday of the month. That's for coaches that have completed uh, coach basics and haven't got to Emerald yet. And then there's a, usually it's called shooting the diamond for coaches that are Emerald and above that have already completed coach basics um, that want to get to diamond rank. And this, this month it was called get to diamond. God damn it. <laughs> I think my sister Amy has actually uh, created that 
and she's leading that one. So you got your Emerald, which is you got to have two coaches that are personally sponsored by you that you enroll yourself and uh, are drinking Shakeology every month. That's how you get to Emerald. That's how you get eligible. You're eligible for the, the um, team bonuses. You start to get those. They're not going to be huge in the beginning. Um, and you're also eligible for those customer leads as an Emerald plus hidden success club, which is really cool too. Uh, and even the best, maybe the best part about Emerald, you get to be in the, the, te- the boom fam, which is all of the team boom Emerald coaches and above. Um, I think there's like 200 or maybe way more than that now. Let's see. 241. There's 241. So like, like I said, like I have my coach group, my sisters have their own coach groups, but all of the Emeralds on team boom, they're all in this group. So it's really cool that we have like one place where we all get to connect. And then we also have, so that's, the, that's a good, another reason to get to Emerald. You're two people that are drinking Shakeology. You're two coaches, right? Um, and then the next step up from Emerald is we have this diamond group, the team boom diamonds. And we just had like three diamonds, uh, three coaches hit diamond last week, which was really cool. So now there's 32 diamonds on team boom, which is nice. So to get the diamond, you have to have eight, of your own coaches that are uh, drinking Shakeology every month, which is called active. Um, And then of those, two of those eight have to be Emerald themselves. So two of your eight have to have two of their own, but if you're creating an amazing experience for these people and they're falling in love with that, the products and and the experience, then they're going to go on and be a coach. They're probably going to create a really good experience for their people so that their people will want to pay it for them to become coaches too. That's how you're going to create your, your emeralds, which is good. Any questions about that? Simple stuff, right? So, um, so we talked about how to find people. We talked about how to uh, connect with them and how to invite them. And then I think what I used to do and what a lot of coaches still do is – once they got their person into the group, they bought the challenge pack and they got, you get two success club points um, every time you sell a challenge pack. So like a lot of coaches, that's like the end game for them. They want to sell their challenge. They want to sell challenge packs, get success club. Uh, and, uh, and then they're done, right? They throw their person into a big challenge group and they check in with them once a week. And you know, I used to do that. Uh, but it just doesn't work as well as really. That's when it starts. Like once that person buys a challenge pack from you, that's when you really have to take ownership and really connect with them one-on-one text with them every day, get them into a good group where they're going to connect with others and really give them that experience. Uh, that's one thing I just, I learned recently and it's already made a really a big difference. So how to create a good experience. I think connecting with them one-on-one texting with them, you know, leading up to the challenge is important getting them to throw the shit out of their house, all the crap that's in the cupboards and the fridge. That's all the processed and refined sugars, throw it out. If it's in the house, they're going to, they're going to get tempted one day. If it's not in the house, that's, it's not there for them to break down and go for it. Um, and then when they get their, their challenge pack, really get them to read through it. So they really have a good understanding of how it's going to work, what's going to happen the next 21 days. Um, so that they go to the grocery store and get their food and can meal prep before it starts on that Monday. So I really want people to order it like, t- like it, hopefully 10 days before the challenge starts so that they get it and they have like the whole weekend before it starts on Monday to get their food and do some meal prepping so that when it starts on Monday, they're ready to rock and roll. They're like kind of chomping at the bit to get going. Um, that's kind of leading up to it. And then once they get their Shakeology and they start using it, like helping them create good recipes so that they love the taste. They got to fall in love with the taste. They love the taste, then they're going to continue to drink it and they're going to get the benefits and they're going to fall in love with it because it's it's awesome stuff. Um, But if they don't love the taste, they're never going to drink it. They're going to, and usually the first time you make it, it doesn't taste amazing. You don't know what you're doing. So it's good to like help them find a few good recipes. And then I post things in a group uh, like, hey, where are you from? Where have you lived? Uh, Maybe even doing like the finger game we just did. Like you could do that with your challengers. I think that'd be kind of cool or just asking them to share one interesting fact about themselves. Um, I did one thing that I really liked was I shared like one thing I was proud about and then tagged someone and said, Hey, can you share one thing you're proud about? And then tag someone else 
So then the whole group got, got to share one thing they're proud about. That was pretty cool. Um, okay. So we, we won't, we're kind of done. That was it. I just want to talk about those three things, the finding, the inviting, and then creating the experience. Um, the last thing I'll say is like, <clears throat> that stuff is great. You know, like you got to know the basics. Um, but if you don't have a why and you don't really, you don't know why you're doing this, um, and you don't really believe that the things you're doing every day are actually going to get you to that why, then you're not going to do those things every day. Right. So that's why the day one video for coach basics was helping you create a, a strong why and a why list because me, like my why is always on my mind. It's always fueling me every day. Most coaches, they don't really think about their why. The only time they think about it is when someone asks them. So having that strong why and written down with a list is huge that you see it every day. So it's always on your mind. And then really like having that belief that, okay, I'm not going to make a million dollars this first, like the first year, but the things I'm doing every day are actually going to get me to that why. And for a lot of you guys, it's freedom, you know, um, having that why coupled with the belief that the things you're doing every day are actually going to get you to that freedom. That's huge. Um, and the last thing, this is a very simple business. It's not like you don't have to be skilled at anything. Like I'm not skilled at anything. You know, like you guys are just as capable or probably more capable than I am at, at this stuff. The secret to this business, and I told Melinda I wasn't going to tell anybody this. This is top secret, right? So don't tell anybody else. This, it's not the, the basics are great, right? But the top secret thing is that you're going to deal with this disappointment. There's going to be discouragement. Things aren't going to go your way. It's not going to grow as fast as you want it to grow. It's just, it's not, right? The, top, the secret is, to continue to do those things every day, to continue to find people, connect with them, invite them every day, whether you feel like it or not, and make time whether you feel like it or not. The coaches that do that consistently for, the, for a long period of time are the ones that have success. That's the secret. So don't tell anyone I told you.